Well, we're off again. On our way home. First men to reach Alpha Centauri. The first men to reach a solar system outside our own. How weird. Completely deserted. Everything dead. Covered with that strange pink dust. They must have all died down there in some epidemic. Then the dust just settled. Say, where'd all this dust come from? Well, we must have picked some of it up before we left. I thought we cleaned up the ship thoroughly. We were so careful. Let's see. And it's that red dust from Alpha. It's all over the place. Boy, will I be glad to get back to Pittsburgh. Yes, it's the same dust that was covering planet A. Strange how consistent. Hey, Kurt. Yeah? Take a look. At what? The dust. It's growing. It's what? Well, I'll be... There wasn't that much there yesterday. I tell you, it's growing. Well, it sure is. Hey, no wonder I feel crawly. It's a good thing we'll be getting back to Earth again in a few days before this dust gets any thicker. The rate it's been spreading, in another week we'd have to fight our way through it. Time for the shots again, Doctor. Good heavens. Was that the radiation shot? Sure. Have we all been getting them? Well, except Kelly and Schwartz, before we landed Alpha Centauri, they, they claimed they were allergic. They got reactions. They, they didn't think they needed them. That cost them their lives. What? But we checked before we landed. There was no radiation on Alpha. The radiation is there. On my finger. The dust? Dust. But I thought that they caught something that, that we didn't, that we were immune to somehow. Oh, it, it couldn't be the dust. Well, the ship's full of it. Our skin, our clothes. Then why did we survive? The radiation shots? Apparently. What is it, Doc? You look worried. Here it is. As much as they knew about it, as much as I do. The dust? I know it's refractive index. It's my axial interference figure. And that's about all. <laughs> Thanks, that makes it as clear as a foggy night. It's a weird sort of radioactive life. A virus that attacks any living matter that comes near it. Radiation, huh? Well, then we're safe. No, I'm afraid not. Our shots just slowed it down. Slowed it down? You mean then... Just temporarily. But they can't stop it. These little specks are alive and deadly. Yeah, but Doc, if the shots slowed it down... The shots only take care of the radioactivity. But once that dust gets anywhere near you, its penetrating power is amazing. Tiny crystals settle in every cell of your body and begin to grow and radiate. Blocking off the radioactivity only seems to prevent quick death. It seems to have no effect at all on the growth of the crystals. And once they come anywhere near a vital organ... How long have we got? Uh, by attacking the radiation, slowing it down, perhaps 10 or at best 15 years. We can't go back to Earth. We can't hit that again, Doc. I said we cannot return to Earth. Look, Doc, start at the beginning and go back. Why can't we return? That should be obvious, Kurt. Kelly, Schwartz, Charlie, Duncan, you, even the doctor. If we landed, do you think the red dust would stop with us? We'd contaminate everything we even came near. And then it would spread outward until there was nothing but one great sterile pink desert stretching from pole to pole. But when we get back home, they'll get rid of those red bugs in no time. The system of Alpha Centauri had scientists working with advanced techniques we can't even begin to understand, and they couldn't get rid of the dust. No. 
One boneyard in the galaxy is enough, Kurt. Well, what do you want us to do? Hang a bell out in front of the ship and go wandering around through space, jangling it, yelling unclean? Not quite. When we reach radio contact point, we'll be able to transmit all the valuable information and knowledge we've gathered. Once we've done that, our mission will be accomplished. Then the only thing left to do will be put the overcharge on emergency power, throw the converters out of phase, and then wait for them to explode. One quick, clean sunburst. All right. Hello, contact point L7. This is Dr. Davidson, Meridian speaking. Wait, the Meridian! She's back! Colonel Wetzel, contact's been made with the Meridian! She's back, she's back, she's back! Give me that mic. Davidson. Hello, this is Wetzel speaking. Yes, Wetzel. Did you make Alpha Centauri? Yes, we made it all the way. Congratulations, wonderful. Anything on it? Cities, big cities, and machines. Wonderful. The inhabitants, were they friendly? There weren't any. Information is in my notes and documents. Can't wait to see them. When will you make contact? I have information to transmit. Now. Now? Hold it, hold till you... Now! Ready. Okay. Fire when ready. Ready. July 23rd. Landing on Alpha Centauri was made on a low plateau. Longitude 37 degrees 28 minutes, latitude 49 degrees 54 minutes, as reckoned on the Van Dusen astronomical projection. An analysis of the atmosphere revealed... Actually, tissue destruction reaches the point where death is inevitable. Furthermore, there is a little possibility of developing a curative agent within the estimated 10 to 15 year margin between first contact and the complete destruction of all terrestrial life. Dr. Davidson? Dr. Davidson, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. That is the sum of our information. I'm sorry that we will not be there to see the results of this expedition, but the scientist is also a member of the human race with responsibilities toward others which he does not always realize until they are pointed out to him. Davidson, Dr. Davidson, where are you? What's happening? Action is being taken to ensure that the Meridian and what remains of her crew do not return to the Earth. Meridian ending transmission. Approximate location, 7th lunar section. Estimated time of arrival, not given.